So friends, this is 72, you see that says State Savings Bank, 72 Madison Avenue, and you can see the 72 right there. Um, Elvis ran out of gas, parked in front of this place. And I'm gonna show you some pictures. This was the saving bank. Right there, you see where it says saving bank. The letters were right up there. You can actually see, I'm gonna zoom in, and you could see where they were actually on the, on the concrete or on the brick. Now, this stuff has changed. All this, the fascia has changed here. You can see that it's now part of a parking garage. So this right here is the spot that the saving bank happened. And it was about, actually close to this angle right here, you could see the saving bank sign would have been right there. And the saving bank is actually lower on the wall right there. You could see where the holes were and the windows and stuff were there. This building has been vastly modified. And then the other place is, okay, so in the picture, if you look right here, you see that vent right there where my thumb is at. That is that vent right there. So it happened right here where Elvis ran out of gas, friends. Right here on this street. That's Front Street and Madison. You can see it says South Center Lane. So it's at Center Lane and Madison Avenue directly across the street. And luckily the building's still here. So he was parked right here. And you can see the vehicle was pointing that way. So Elvis was actually parked right here in this spot. And this is where it happened. Right there, friends. So there's another piece to the Elvis puzzle. It happened right here. 72 Madison. It's where the savings bank was. And after hours depository, you never know. Elvis may have deposited money there. So let's talk about the car a little bit. This was a, this, although this was in December of 1956, it was a 57 model Cadillac Seville, El Dorado Seville, S-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And this is the same car. And if you look back in the picture, you can actually see the front of it. I'm gonna show you in another picture, another angle. If you look, you see that chrome piece going around the top of the windshield and the drip rail is that little part that sticks out that keeps the rain from going into the car. And I'll show you that in the picture that's coming up. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you will see the, the chrome at the right bottom and that edge of the drip rail and he's got his hand on top of the car and he's standing on the passenger side and all the people are gathered around and if you look on the left top you'll see that vent that I was talking about behind the policeman's head and then if you look in the other picture you'll see uh, the word saving bank as we talked about uh, right there and what threw me off was I didn't know I looked up Savings Bank, couldn't find it. I finally found State Savings Bank in the phone book. Went to that address, as you saw, the yellow thing that I showed you in the beginning. I'll put it here now. And was able to walk right up to it. And it's modified quite a bit. There's a parking garage, but that's where it happened. So, friends, I want to point out a couple of things. 1956, Elvis recorded Heartbreak Hotel and received a gold record for it, a million sales. He signed his first tour uh, set up with the Colonel, as you can see here, on January the 24th. He was on the Tommy Dorsey show, which is this. You can see Scotty on the left, Bill Black on the right. Bought his first home, which was Autobahn, which is uh, behind him on the right right here. And if you go back and look at the contract that I had that he signed at the bottom, it shows he was living at 1414 Getwell just a couple of months before this. So he moved here. But keep in mind that all this that I'm showing you is prior to Graceland. Graceland was not until next year. He was on the Milton Berle show on the USS Hancock, a ship. He got paid $1,250 for the Milton Berle show, by the way. He got $50,000 for the Ed Sullivan show, which is right here. And notice the, uh, the busted front kick drum there for um, uh, DJ Fontana. 
And lastly, this year, and this is not uh, a small last, he released his first movie that he was in, Love Me Tender. So I want you to look at this next picture and look in his eyes. You know that right there, all that stuff had just happened. He felt like, I'm sure he thought that any day I'm going to wake up and this dream's going to be over. Of course, it lasted for a long time, but I, I can't even imagine the feeling. And finally, his last time ever playing on the Louisiana Hayride, December the 15th, 1956, was four days after he ran out of gas. So there's a few little tidbits there for you, friends. Tighten up every chance you get, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank mm-hmm. you.